Hello, it's Karen here with my interpretation of the UK Scrap Addicts challenge for this month, which is paint. I was a bit flummoxed with this one as to what I would do, as I'm not an artist like some of the ladies. Um, so far this month, there have been amazing um, painted feathers and flowers, and people have done really stunning mixed media pages that's just not me so what would I do and then I remembered I th there are quite a few papers about at the moment that have just black outlines of flowers and all sorts of things and I thought my paint will be painting one of these so I have this piece of paper with the garland of flowers this is um, from Vicky Booten's field notes range and it's called choose to shine and what I plan to do is paint the flowers cut out the garland and make a page from there the paints that I'm going to use are these ones and I bought them from uh, Hobbycraft I don't know what their make is but although they're watercolors they have a beautiful shimmer to them so I'm hoping that I can make quite a good job with that so I'm thinking that I will try and do similar colours to the colours on this piece of field notes which I'm intending to use for the background and that one's called Among the Wild Flowers so I'm going to go for pinks and blues and greens I think. As you can see with the paint I start with quite a strong colour in the centre and once I've laid that down, I just have water on my brush and draw the paint out from the centre to the outside of the petal, giving it a sort of shaded effect. And this is the finished piece of paper. Um, I don't know if you can see the paints have got this really lovely shimmer to them. And I suppose that took me about 45 minutes, an hour to do. The next step was to cut it out and I'm going to cut away all these little fiddly bits because I, to be honest I can't be bothered to cut all those out so I'm just going to cut around the edge and then decide whether I'm going to cut around the middle or not. So this is the background that I'm going to use and this is the piece of paper that I have cut out and believe it or not, it took almost as long to cut out as it did to paint. So I'm going to pop some foam pads onto the back of that and put it onto the blue paper. I decided that I wouldn't cut the centre out because it would make it blend in with all the blue too much. It needed the pink as a contrast to make it stand out against the blue. From the same range, <clears throat> I also have this piece of paper which is called Good Stuff and I'm going to cut this particular one out and use it as a photo mount. I'm also going to cut the tag out and I think 
one of these I'll maybe use as a journal in spots. Then I've got this one, which has these beautiful butterflies on. That's called Take Flight. And I also have the embellishments. <clears throat> so those are the embellishments. So I'm going to use some of those layered up on my page too. Plus, maybe I might use, oops, that's got a bit of paper on, some of these um, enamel dots. And I'm not sure where they come from because they were just in my stash, but the colours seemed pretty perfect to me. I'm going to sort out the ones that I think will work with this particular page. Next, I use the elements that I've chosen and start to build up my page using the um, journaling spot as a photo mount and then I just play about with the rest of the bits until I have a design I'm happy with. I decided that I would just cut out some blue and green um, moths to add to the edges of my garland and just a couple onto the photograph. So there's my finished page with a little bit of painting. Um, I finished my journaling now and that is an alternative way of adding paint to a page. Thank you for watching.